In this video, I'm going to show you how to make Fuse waterproof. And when I say waterproof, I mean it. Stay tuned. This is the fuse pulled from a canister shell that was lit with an electric match during a fireworks show. We're going to be turning it into something more like this, a heavily lacquered waterproof fuse. This is what it's going to look like when we're done. And if you want to learn how to make fuse from scratch, here's a video. It's waterproof as well. And here's a clip from that. This fuse is 100% waterproof. It works in the rain, and I have submerged it in water for minutes on end, and it hasn't been affected one little bit. I'm sure you could leave it in for an hour. And yes, it does burn underwater. Wow, that was before a voice change. Here's a card for that video, by the way. As I mentioned before, we are going to be coating this fuse in a lacquer, in this case, a nitrocellulose lacquer. This is a piece of homemade nitrocellulose I made from cotton. I don't have a video on that on my channel, but there is some content on the internet. Perhaps I'll make a video in the future. But I'm going to be using a different source, and you can infer what that is. Either source will perform just as well. Now to turn this into a lacquer, we're going to dissolve it in acetone. The amounts of either substance I'm using is not precise. It depends on how much fuse you're treating, and also the consistency that you want to get, and I'll show you what that's supposed to look like. Keep in mind that when you're working with acetone, it does put off quite a bit of vapor and smells like a nail salon. So do it in a well-ventilated area so you don't get a headache. Note that this is being mixed in a glass beaker and stirred around with a metal utensil. That is because if plastic were used, it would be likely that the acetone could dissolve or compromise it in some way. Now because acetone is non-polar and water is polar, water cleanup will not work here. Perhaps mineral spirits would, but obviously more acetone can do the trick. What I like to do, however, is just allow the lacquer to dry and peel it off. It comes off real easy. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of stirring to get this to an even consistency. And this is going to need a little bit more acetone. In any case, it takes a little bit longer to dissolve the nitrocellulose than it does, say, styrofoam. After several minutes of stirring and a little bit more acetone, this is the consistency that you're looking for. Sort of like a paint. As you can see, this is still a little bit lumpy and would benefit from sitting for a minute or two and getting a couple more stirs. However, there's already an awful lot of acetone smell in the air and I'm getting impatient, so I'm just going to dip them now. Now these fuses already have some sort of coating on them. It's probably nitrocellulose, but it's not thick enough to make them waterproof. But it should be noted that because you are putting them into acetone, the fuses are going to go limp because the current coating is going to dissolve. So keep in mind that the idea here is to put a nitrocellulose coating on the fuse, not to soak it in the solution. So I'm putting it in, making sure it's all covered, and then I'm going to pull it out right away. You can see that it's on there just a little bit too thick, so I'm going to pull some of that off. Now, it's at this point that I'm going to caution you not to do this with your bare hands. It made my hands quite a mess, and it was quite a pain to get it off. So, wear gloves while doing this, and make sure that it's a glove that is not going to be compromised by acetone. If I'm not mistaken, nitrile gloves are not ideal for this purpose, and latex would be better. And with that, that piece is done. The only thing left to do is to let it dry. And while it's doing that, I like to wrap it around an aluminum can. That way, once it's rigid, it's in the shape of a coil and nice to store. Obviously this is not necessary, but it really helps with ease of use. And after just several minutes, it's already dry and this is what it looks like. Now there might be some questions out there saying that maybe a wax coating could work. In this case, it's 50-50 beeswax and paraffin, so let's give that a try. Just give it a quick dip to try to coat it and not soak it. Let it cool off and let's see if it works. Here is the wax coated fuse. It's looking like this isn't going to work. 
It seems that the wax has slowed the burn down far too much and made it unreliable. You can see how this could even be blown out like a candle. Well, I think you get the idea. Now this is the proper way to do it, which is with nitrocellulose. As you can see, the fuse still burns as it should, but it's still waterproof. Here's the wax fuse again. As you can see, it is not truly waterproof. So it seems the wax fuse cannot burn underwater, but as you'll remember from the beginning of the video, the nitrocellulose coated fuse can. <laughs> that smoke doesn't smell as cool as it looks. Now here's a slow motion clip, just so you can see that it really did burn all the way through even though some of the body of the fuse remained behind and enjoy the evil laugh as a bonus. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you found it educational and entertaining. I appreciate you sticking around to the end. I hope to see you next time. Thanks.